Hey guys, how are you all doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. I am currently on my way to see a orthopedic surgeon. Um, yes, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday, um, I visited with my rheumatologist and she told me that I had brucitis, okay? And um, that was after I waited nearly three hours to see her. That was like the worst experience ever because once she came into the room, she came in there and she was she looked disheveled. Okay, so she came in the room and she heard she was talking to me real fast. Now, typically, you know, his, not typically, historically, she's never done done me like this. You know, I do like her and everything. But anyway, so she asked me the questions real fast and she said, oh, I need to give you a shot. So she left, okay? She left me again <laughs> and went, well, not again, she just left and she went on to see other um, patients. So she left me in there in a chair. You know how sometimes when you go into a waiting room, there's a table? And then sometimes uh, there's just chairs, there's no table. So before she left me, she said, here, take this cloth and um, pull out this, this chair and I'm gonna give you a shot in the chair. And I'm thinking to myself, in the chair? You gonna give me the shot in the chair? So she left and so I'm waiting and waiting on her to come back and I see her, cause I had the door open, I see her go into see other patients. So I go out at this point, I go out and I'm nearly in tears. I just can't believe what's going on. I ask her assistants or her nurses or whatever, the people that was working up front, you know, is she going to see me? Or, you know, can you tell me what do I need to do? For her to see me, I said I paid my copay just like everybody else. Why won't she see me? And you know they're looking crazy. Like we don't know either. You know why she won't see you? So I'm like, okay, well just give me my money back. Okay, so I said, can you just give me my money back? So the lady, she was having problems trying to figure out how to do a refund. So I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm at this point, you know, I'm like, okay. So I'm, I'm near tears, but I'm telling myself, you know, I'm not going to cry. You know, we're just going to suck this whole situation up and be a big girl. So I'm praying and I'm like, okay, so what should I do? What should I do? The lady can't give me my money back and I'm not leaving until she gives me my money back. So I go back in the room and um, I, I had on my clothes. So when she finally came back, she was like, oh, she went into the other room and I heard her say, where did she go? Where did she go? <laughs> so as, when I saw her, uh, what are you doing? When I saw her or heard her, I peeped out the uh, room and I saw her saying, "Where did she go? Where did she go?" And so I said, "I'm over here," and I still had on my clothes. So I said, "I don't want to. I don't want you to give me the shot in a chair." I said, "You need to give it to me on the table." She was like, "Oh, you want it on the table?" Yes, I want it on the table. Cuckoo bird. Um, so I did, I had on my clothes. I said, look, just stay here. Cause I'm finna pull my pants down now. So you can do what you have to do. Do not leave. So she was like, okay. So she, the nurse. And when I tell you all this, you all are going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe you did that. But I, at this point I was desperate, you know, for some type of relief, but her nurse prepared her station. She put her gloves out on this table. She put her, the different meds that I was gonna need. So my doctor didn't use any gloves, okay? So she put the little thing over my hip, okay? And so she's pressing down. She's like, is that where it is? Is that where the tendon, is that where, it, is it tender there, you know? And so once she found the spot that she was gonna give me my shot in, she took, um, it was some type of freezing stuff and she froze my hip and that was very painful and, and she needed to do that to numb it because she gave me a couple of shots with these really big needles in my hip. So so she gives me, you know, she numbs it and then she proceeds to stick me with the medicine. Okay, so get this y'all, she sticks me <laughs> with, the, with the needle. She said, oh, I forgot something. She runs out of the room 
and then she turns back around <laughs> before she exits. She said, don't move because the needle's still sticking in your heel. So I'm laying there praying, like, oh my God, you know, all I'm thinking is just God, this woman's hand, just, just let me get through this. Let me get through this. So she's, she comes back, she's still disheveled. She's all over the place, trying to dig into my hip, trying to see where she needs to, you know, give me a shot. So she gives me a couple more shots and then she numbs my hip some more. And uh, so we finally get through that. So after all of that, silliness and craziness is over you know she starts uh, asking me did I have uh, any type she said it could be the brucitis could be a flare up because you could have had the virus she said I could have had COVID and not known it and she said because a lot of uh, her patients with rheumatoid arthritis are suffering from that. They'll have like a little bit of an itchy throat or post nasal drip. And all of those symptoms that she described, I was suffering from because she said, what, what's going on with your body is, is that your immune system is activating, trying to handle the virus. Meanwhile, it's attacking your body because that's what rheumatoid arthritis is. Essentially, it's your own body attacking itself. And that's what causes the inflammation and the pain etc etc so um she says so you should it should take two days she told me it should take two days for me to feel better so i went in there with a crutch and so when i left she was like you still need a crutch i'm like cuckoo bird you just told me it would take two days yeah it's still it i i'm i, I still hurt i mean it's not better so, um, you know, and she said, or oh, do you just want to be safe? And I'm like, well, yeah, because that is some of the other symptoms that I was having. Like my hip would just, just like give out on me uh, sporadically or, and you know, hip being locked and stuff like that. But um, I'm trying to think what else she told me. Um, that's pretty much it. So um, when I left that night, I was okay, but then the next day, you know, the pain is back. Same situation. So um, I was talking to my sister. I don't know if I told you all this, but my little sister, and I just say little because she's younger than me. She's uh, 48. She has lupus. So she's suffering with the same problem, but she's currently in a wheelchair right now. So she um, had the brucitis in her hip. They gave her the shot. It didn't help. So uh, she went on to see. I wonder what that is. What is that? It's some oil. They call it oil Oh my goodness. What time is it? It's too bad. <laughs> anyway, so she uh, went to see an orthopedic doctor and they just scheduled her for MRI and now she's uh, waiting to see the results. So the only reason, you know, I scheduled, went on and scheduled it so soon is because the doctor, the orthopedic surgeon that I saw that um, is at Kelsey Sebo, you know how when you have uh, a lot of their doctors, or, uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with their site, but a lot of their doctors will have like a little video clip talking about their specialty and what they do, et cetera, et cetera. So he was saying, you know, it's better to go ahead and get a jump start early if you suspect some, something instead of waiting, you know, so... Um, that's why I'm just going on to see what he's going to say. I'm hoping um, I can just get an x-ray as opposed to an MRI because those MRIs historically cost a grip, you know, out here. Um, you know, of course, insurance covers it, but you got to pay the copay. And the copay, I remember years ago, the copay for an MRI was like $200, so it's probably way more than that now. But either way, you know. I just, they, I, I need to figure out what the hell is going on with my hip. What is this? Oh, it could be a school. No, ain't no school let out this early. Oh, that's a school. Letting out this early? It's a Kips. Oh, Kips a pup. Oh, Kips. Yeah, but it's 120. It's 120. Don't you think that's early? Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so we'll see. I doubt if I can vlog in there, I will. Maybe I can sneak and have my camera on. I don't know, so I can see.
say what he says. So, yeah. So I'm just going through this. I will, um, I guess maybe uh, get back with you all after I leave the doctor if I can't vlog in there and tell you what he said. So, talk to y'all later. Hey guys, my appointment is over and now we are on our way to the house. During my appointment, I was able to get an x-ray done and see the orthopedic doctor. And what I found out was both of my hips, um, the cushion uh, in between the bone is totally gone. And it's just bone on bone and basically uh, the doctor was saying that I'm going to have to have eventually have a hip replacement so he told me to give it some more time uh, the shot that I got in my hip that I told you all about that I received from my rheumatologist he said give that about two more weeks uh, but in the meantime he wants me to go see a surgeon uh, to see uh, what they're what they're gonna tell me in regards to my hip so that is that so I'm happy I know what's going on and I just need to do a little bit more research and I'm kind of wondering if I should maybe get a second opinion, I don't know, maybe or what, but either way, at least I know. Um, so I'm going to, he told me to, he gave me some exercises to do and he also told me to add heat as well as ice um, but don't do it any longer than 20 or 30 minutes at a time you all should see the weather out here it's lightning all all up on the sky it's crazy it's so crazy it's so crazy but anyway i just want to pop in here and tell you all that and i will see you all in the next hey, clean the wall when I hate going next <laughs> you really hate it then if you hate yeah. Hate it like I hate going in the wallet room. Really hate it. Cause that's some serious. That's some serious. Ooh. Is it coming on on you? Hey guys, I am back. Um, we are on our way to the Apple Store. It's currently 3:50, and we're supposed to be there at one. <laughs> so now we're in traffic. Okay, and I know, right? Exactly. After we leave um, the Apple store, we're going to Willie G's uh, Seafood and Steakhouse. It's like my favorite store. And uh, what? Said now. Huh? Said now. You know what I said? Favorite store. It's my favorite restaurant. Now. Yeah, now. Uh -huh. Now that I've uh, retired Papa Do's. Last time I went to Papa Do's, I got the, um, the seafood platter that they had and it was it just wasn't good to me it wasn't good at all well okay let me let me rephrase that it was it was it wasn't as good as willie g's i was comparing it to you know how sometimes you you'll have something or you're eating something or whatever and you think it's all that in a bag of doritos until you taste something different you thought you had like the best but anyway so we're going there and let me tell y'all what happened to me okay i was um well first of all i have uh two computers i have a pc laptop and then i have a mac laptop and i've had it for a long time since 2016. that's when i bought it right 2016. Yeah. it was either the later the latter part of 2016 or the early part of 2017 anyway so it was, it, you know, the ports stopped working. Like some of the ports, okay, all of the ports, but one was working. Like the sound was distorted. Like you couldn't hear correctly out of the speaker. In order to hear the sound correctly, I had to put the um, put the headphones in. Um, and on the screen at the bottom part, it started. Um, you know how like uh, a TV will have that little those little lines at the bottom, and it'd be jumping. And also, when I would go to edit in iMovies, I don't know if any of you all ever picked up on this, but sometimes like around the edges of my hair, 
like the it would have like blue lines or some kind of blue and red lines and it would just show for a second and it would get it off so anyway there were some things that was um you know going wrong with it did it work yes was i using it yes most definitely i was using it um you know i wanted a new one but you know those are kind of expensive so well they ain't kind of expensive max are expensive so anyway i was uh working on something in my bed and i like to do everything in my bed you know i have an adjustable bed so i just I'm just always in the bed and no i'm not depressed i had one friend tell me she was like girl you depressed you're always in the bed i'm like no my bed my bed is an adjustable bed, adjustable bed and it vibrates and it's just really comfortable anyway so i got out of the bed to go somewhere and then i came back Okay, I got in the bed and I pulled the covers towards me and my laptop went, ooh, I started trying to grab it. Oh my goodness. And I have like a table like at the foot of my bed and it hit the table and so I was thinking, oh my goodness, maybe it'll be okay because once before, I think it was last year, the year before last, it hit the uh, ground. I was like, maybe it'll be okay, but I heard it, you know, it hit the table and then boom, it fell on the ground. So I was like, I picked it up and said, please, 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 please. And the screen was cracked. Like the outside part was intact, but the inside, you could see that the inside was uh, cracked. And then all of the, everything that's on the screen, like the desktop was like moved, it was shifted uh, up a little bit. And then it had three of those right behind it. So, um, you know, I went to my husband, I was like, I dropped my computer, I broke my computer. So he was, you know, looking, trying to see, find places to uh, fix it. I was like, nah, that's okay. Cause you know, by being a Mac, I don't even know if anybody can fix it or, you know, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want us to pay an astronomical amount. You know, I was like, I'll just use the other computer. So I was texting uh, Nisi, I was telling her, oh my goodness, I broke, I brought my cute computer and she was like, wow, oh my goodness. You know, we were just going back and forth. And um, I was, and then she was like, maybe Michael buy you another one. I don't, and I was like, I don't know. I hope so. She was like, girl, you never know. Josh, he'll get you one. I was like, I don't know. So anyway, I guess about an hour later, he had left to go to work. And then he was like, he called me and he said, I got you another computer. <laughs> so we're going to pick it up now. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so stinking excited. It's the new one. It's the uh, the one with the M2 uh, uh, MacBook Pro. It's a, I had a MacBook Pro, but of course, by being so old, it didn't have the latest whatever it is they got in it. So anyway, supposedly this one has um, extra fans in it, which I'm so excited about because um, the Mac that I had, you know, when I would uh, edit, I would have to make sure it was really cool in the spot that I was working in or it would, you know, kind of get hot. And also the graphics, I think, you know, people who do editing and graphics is supposed to be better. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ooh, I feel like it's my birthday. I really do. I feel like it's my birthday. Get computer, dinner. <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> He's so crazy. Are you gonna answer right here? Why are you finna right here? I'm like fighting traffic. Oh, okay, okay, okay. See, I'm still driving, because he need help, y'all. <laughs> he needs some help. He need a little bit of help. I'm just teasing, my, my husband can drive. So, yeah, going to get it. And then, after that, going out to eat, okay? And then, after that, you gonna take me right? Huh? Huh? Hey, hey, boy. <laughs> My husband, he, he's so funny. He's so funny. This morning I got up really early and I was washing clothes. I was cleaning up. You know, because, you know, that's what you're supposed to do, right? So he says, if you wasn't getting this computer, would you be doing all this? I'm like, man, I, I always, you know, keep things straight, clean up. Well, I don't always stay on top of his clothes. I did. I, I folded, I washed and folded all of his clothes. So I don't typically do that, but, you know, I'm a reasonably good housekeeper, reasonably good. Well, my children do most of the cleaning up. Speaking of cleaning up, my uh, son and my husband was in the backyard, power washing the patio. Power washing the patio, getting a laptop, getting uh, dinner. 
<laughs> boy, he, got, he gonna wear that out, boy. Let me tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, next time I do a vlog in December, he gonna be like, she got a laptop. I power watch the patty. <laughs> want a Christmas gift. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I do, y'all. That's how I do. That's how I do. That's why I'm by my own Christmas kid. Yeah, I ain't gonna need one because he'll be like, I did this. That's how I was when he bought my car. This car. He was like, got your car. And this and this. He, he's funny. He's, he's so funny. He's so funny. That's like, well, with my daughter when uh, he bought her car, it was it was maybe a week before her birthday when he bought it and. And so she was like, what about my birthday? You know, my birthday, my birthday gift. He was like, your birthday gift, your birthday gift is that car out there. That's so funny. He's ticklish. But anyway, I gave her, I gave her a uh, hundred bucks for her birthday. Just a little something. I was like, man, you can't do people like that. You can't do people like that. No, no, no. You got a whole car out there. <laughs> well, yeah, but you know, yes. You, yeah, but you can be doing people. I mean, yeah. yeah. Oh Lord. Anyway, we're almost there to the store at the store, so um, uh, we will talk to you all later. Hey guys, we are back and we just finished our early dinner at Willie G's Steakhouse Seafood and Steakhouse, and it was very, very good. Picked up the computer or the laptop, got that laptop, and now we are on our way home. Okay, and once I get home, I might film something, I'm not sure. I might. Uh, I was looking on the Sephora website for some something to buy. And do you know, they have a LED mask on there for $1,900. It was like, I looked at it, so I was like, okay, I put on my glasses. Maybe, maybe that was... 1000 excuse me, $190. Or maybe it was $19. So I clicked on it, $1,900. And they, you know, they had a lot of things in the realm of $500 and up. I know Dennis Gross had, um, I think it was a mask. He had something on there for $430. And some other people, you know, they were all tools for the face, you know, like if you want to, what is this car doing? Oh my God, I don't get everybody kid. Are you just going to stop behind them? No, I can't. You need to move. You need to pay. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> you can't. You, you, you saw that. You saw that car? Anyway, oh my god, I might have to edit that out. Anyway, he's just driving silly now. Driving silly. Anyway, they had so many things on there, and it was like I said, it was mostly tools. Like some of uh, the things were. Let me get my purse. Let me get to my purse and see if I can find this. And I was just wondering, did you all know that? I didn't know Sephora had items on there for $1,000 and $500. It was just crazy. And I just want to know, who is it? Oh, I'm so glad you got on the show me last. A lot of cards. I just want to know who is going to spend $1,900 on an LED mask. Okay, for example, there's a Dyson Supersonic hair dryer for $420. I don't know if that's normal or what. I heard that Dyson has some some good uh, has some good uh, products. Okay, oh, all right. So there's a Dennis Dr. Dennis Gross skincare uh, Spectralite face wear for $430. Dr. Dennis Gross has a body wear pro for $435. And I wonder, does this stuff really work? Like there's something on here. This is a line smoothing device for $159. 
from New Face. Okay, I get that price. But when you start skirting up into the realm of almost $500 and up, that just seems ridiculous. I should have checked to see if they had that uh, stuff in the store. Or is it just online? Oh, okay, so the, here's another one. This is a Touch Home Permanent Hair Removal Device for $449. This stuff is expensive. These people are making a killing. A killing, a killing. There's a facial sculpting wand for $400. Anyway, I can go on and on and on. So, uh, before I go, I was just going to tell y'all, when we, uh, when the ballet was uh, bringing our car back, you know, they had a, a police officer walk out behind us. I guess he was somewhere in the restaurant. If it was, I didn't see him. So, there was a, a truck, like a police car, like a SUV, like kind of parked at the corner of, uh, it was kind of across the street. It was kind of like in between um, our restaurant and the restaurant next door. And now, mind you, this is like in the Galleria area. It's like they had our the restaurant we were at, then they had Maestro's, Ma Maestro's, M A S T R O. Okay. And then right next behind it, they had a Bentley dealership, you know. So they had all these upscale things and they had a copper there. So I was like, why do they need a copy? You know, my my Mike was saying my husband. He was saying that there there have been a lot of robberies. And, you know, people. He, I guess they, the restaurant wants everybody to be safe. But I'm like, who's gonna come and rob a restaurant? But you said they were robbing restaurants. Well, people coming out the restaurant. Oh, okay. They're robbing people coming out of the restaurant. So that's pretty. That's ridiculous. That's just. That's ridiculous. That's like um, a couple of weeks ago, um, there was a robbery. They had robbed an eyeglass store and stole all of the frames. Um, just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I don't... Mm -mm. But anyway, I still love my city, even though it appears to be becoming dangerous. <laughs> But you know, I guess you could just be packing. You know, you could just have a gun and you'll be okay, right? You just have a shootout. If somebody try to rob you, you just have a shootout, right? I guess, right? I think so. Do any of you all have a concealed handgun license? Do any of you all have a gun? Um, just out of curiosity. I have one, but I need at least, I need a couple more. I need a couple more. I'm trying to convince him to buy me a couple more. Like, you know, there's some other types of uh, guns that I would like. But anyway, let me know down in the comments if you all have a, a concealed handgun license. And do you carry it around with you? Like in your purse or do you keep it in your car? You can keep it in your car as long as it's in your mailbox. It's not enough mailbox here, um, your glove compartment. Isn't that how it is? If you have a concealed? As long as it's concealed somewhere. Okay. Okay. But anyway, that's it. And I will uh, see you all in the next clip. To talk about a few products that are new in my collection, some product regrets, and um, some skincare. So let's go ahead and get started. And the reason that I have on all of this makeup is because I just did a video. If you're interested in how I got this look, I'm not sure if this video will be up yet, but if it is, I'll link it down below just in case you're interested. And I used all affordable products to get this look. So um, I wanted to talk about some skincare that is new in my collection. I've been using this and I have an eye cream and a moisturizer. And you all know that 
I use eye creams. I believe in eye creams. Some people don't, you know, to each his own. Uh, that's the beauty of this world. <laughs> you know, we can use what we want to use, do what we want to do uh, within the law, you know, and, you know, there's, there's no harm, no foul. But anyway, uh, this is the Polish Choice C5. Let's see. Yeah, C5 Super Boost Moisturizer. And this is it. It's been floating around YouTube. And I'm going to talk about it once I've at least used it. Um, I want to use it for at least two months. So I'm going right in at a month. And my husband loves this moisturizer too. And he has just kind of taken it and put it in his stash <laughs> so when i get ready to use it i have to go and find it out of his stash um his skin is looking really good he has sensitive skin and a lot of times when i want to know if the product is going to work on sensitive skin or if it claims to work on sensitive skin if i have it you know he'll be my guinea pig so to speak and i'll just say hey babe test this out i can remember there was a uh a cleanser and I can't think of it now but I'll put it on the screen and it said it was for sensitive skin and yada 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 oh my goodness my poor baby used that mess and it stripped his skin his skin peeled like literally for the next two days I mean he is the type of person like you know, some people might say, oh, I have sensitive skin, but you know, they can kind of use those harsh products. Not my husband. He literally has sensitive skin. But this, this, I guess this isn't about him. But either way, uh, I really like this. I love, love this. And the eye cream is the uh, C5 Super Boost eye cream. And it's got 5% vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and polypeptides. Uh, this one had the moisturizer has the 5% vitamin C as well. Okay, and I can't see the other word. I don't have my glasses there <laughs> in the room. So, uh, but either way, these are uh, these are really good. I'm gonna talk more about these once I've actually used them, and I can tell you what I'll I'll be able to tell you in more detail what I liked about them, what I didn't like about them, etc. etc. But so far they're really good, especially this eye cream. And I've noticed that this eye cream pairs really well under eye makeup. So if you're one who wears the concealers and you know the uh, foundations and things like that, definitely. Um, I want to talk about a regret and this is the way uh, body cream. So I decided to go ahead and try it out because of how much I like their cleanser. And I put this on and by no means does it hydrate my skin. Um, it just immediately feels dry and uh, I just always get the feeling that I need to apply some moisturizer even after I've applied this. So, you know, I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe I used it wrong, you know, and I'm, I'm thinking maybe um, my skin wasn't moist enough um, after I got out of the tub, you know, because when you apply your moisturizer, you're supposed to apply it on damp skin, okay? And that's just to prevent your skin from being dehydrated, it's to help keep moisture uh, on your skin. And I applied it in, it didn't feel like I had anything on. So I'm like, okay, well, let me do it again. Let me try it again. Maybe my skin wasn't wet enough. No matter how, how I applied this dry skin, damp skin, almost wet skin, it just didn't do the job for me. And it's a colossal fail. I forgot what I paid for this. I put it somewhere on the screen. But if you have dry skin, I mean, take it from me. Uh, this just doesn't work. So I also looked at the reviews on Sephora and now please understand when I tell you what I'm about to say I review products okay and it's kind of gotten to the point where people on YouTube who review products I'm sorry about the light going in and out the, the, the sun and the windows and everything but you know I review products and it's just kind of gotten to the point where if somebody receives a product for free that um, 
you know, people don't want to believe what they say. And I saw on uh, Sephora's website where it had like, I think almost five stars, but if you look at it, 95% of those people who gave five stars, they got this for free. So to me, you know, you can come up with your own conclusion. I'm thinking that they just gave that five stars because that they got it for free. I mean, this just did not work for me. And I'm thinking I'm going to probably pass it on to my son, but my son doesn't, you know, he, he doesn't do well with moisturizers that aren't actually moisturizing and neither does my daughter. So I don't, <clears throat> I don't know who I can pass that on to. Anyway, moving along. Now, <laughs> the next one is uh, by Biasons. This is, oh my goodness, I love this. This is the Squalene Capping Toning Body Cream. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Now, I tried using this on dry skin. It works better if, once you get out of the shower, the tub, you know, have your skin not dripping wet, but have it damp to moist and apply this. Oh my goodness. This is gonna leave your skin so supple, so soft. I love this, I absolutely love this. The squalene in it is, let me tell you, it's definitely doing its job. It's got some other ingredients in it. Um, I like the texture of it too. It has like a, um, a thicker type of texture, which is really, really nice. I love it. And you know, it's been, I've been meaning to try this. I think this is, um, this has been out for the past two years and I've been meaning to try it and meaning to try because as you all know I have so many videos on body butters and body creams you know I love trying them out just to see what they're about uh, but I should have tried this a long time ago this stuff is good and I love it and then I have one more regret it's not skincare it's not makeup or anything <laughs> it's actually a product that I got from Amazon and I know I'm making a lot of noise. It's actually a t-shirt. I'm gonna try to put it on the screen somewhere. This is it. So the t-shirt, it was cute. It was really nice. I'm just gonna show it to you all. You know, just a, just a nice t-shirt. Nice flowy. It's for, you know, something that's not gonna fit too tight. That's not gonna show all of my big stomach and rolls and things like that. You know, just something I can be comfortable in. Why does this have a hole? Maybe I have to send this back. The hole is right here. Right there. Do y'all see that? I'm like, what the what the why does it have a hole? <laughs> and you all know, you know, I buy stuff from Amazon. You know, I buy dresses. I have I'll put this right here. You all know I buy dress. You all know I buy stuff from Amazon. I do dress, little dress hauls and things like that. Never, ever, ever had a problem like this. You know, in fact, I'll link those those videos somewhere in here. But to receive it, and you know, sometimes you, you read the reviews and people will be like, "Oh, hold this," or "This happened," or "This happened." I'm thinking in my mind, surely they didn't get the product and it had a hole in it, right? But hey, here I am with a product and it's got a hole in it. <laughs> so, uh, but, and I know you all are probably looking at me like, girl, why are you buying your t-shirt from Amazon? But Amazon has some pretty cool things, in my opinion, you know, to each his own. So anyway, that concludes this vlog. Okay, thank you all for kind of coming in, chiming in. I didn't do my bold in chat. Um, this go round only because I have a lot, so many things going on and I really didn't have time to carry all of my equipment in the living room and then, you know, have a, a time slot during the day, you know, where I would be free without, you know, people just, you know, walking in, walking out, walking in. But anyway. So I'll definitely have it on the next go round. So and that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.